All right, I'm back. We got ourselves some pure project, and this one is called Formless Reflections Murky India Pale Ale, Murky IPA. Just call it a hazy like everyone else. You're not unique. I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, pure project out of San Diego. It says, for those who believe that quality ingredients and attention to detail matter from the grain to the glass. All right, very nice. Looks like we got a uh, 6.9 ABV. Nice. <laughs> and not much else, so let's crack this open. Let's see what's up. This is one that I got from my uh, California travel, so let's... Uh, hmm. That smells pretty good. Definitely some citrus blasting through the, the nose there. Okay. So, <clears throat> there's a good amount of fruit. I could get um, a good, like, malt presence. This definitely has, like, a solid, like, grain bill. Very low bitterness, though. And that seemed to be the trend while I was in California. It's unfortunate because you kind of want some of that juice, some of that sweetness, but you also do want some of that bitterness. Kind of balance things out and makes a perfect beer. But this one's a little bit more on the sweet side, not enough bitterness, but it's all good. All right. Today we're revisiting AA Shaving The Hunt. Austin just posted that he has sold out of the hunt and that the next scent is on the horizon. So we are going to flaunt our soap today. We got, let's see on the back, you can see the ingredients right there. And this is good stuff, man. I used it a few times. So I worked it with a, a synthetic. I worked it with a uh, badger and it's good stuff. I like it. It has a very pleasant um, green scent. Uh, as you could imagine, with a name like The Hunt and a label that showcases the wilderness. Real good stuff. And it, we got a very uh, luxurious lather here. You can see it's all whipped up. Nice, dense, creamy inside of my Lancaster Razor Works bowl there. You can see we've got a very cute, um, <laughs> soft swirl on top. And this is my uh, That Darn Rob with the uh, Bird's Eye Maple. Uh, under ivory and an AP Shave Co. synthetic not on top. The uh, Sinbad to be exact. Sorry about that. So let's get right into it. I was gonna shave yesterday but Wednesday is brewery day for me so kinda skipped the shave and just saved it for today. Had a good day at work today. It was um, not as busy as it has been. Usually the the week after a holiday is quite busy. And Monday and Tuesday, or wait, Tuesday and Wednesday, because we had Monday off. Tuesday and Wednesday were quite busy, but today wasn't so bad, so that's nice. Maybe we're normalizing. <clears throat> This Sinbad, man. If you're a fan of synthetic knots, this Sinbad is just fucking awesome. It has like a perfect combination of being, you know, dense for a synthetic, very soft tips, a good amount of backbone. I set this one myself, but I do like the balance that I achieved. Soft tips, nice backbone. I'm gonna paint in a little bit more uh, water. Oh yeah, real good stuff. Let's go ahead and get some up on the cheeks as well. The scent on this one, right about a five, if not maybe like a 4.5. It's not absolutely jumping off the tub, but it's there to be enjoyed and I do like that. I can't remember what I said 
it's always funny when you're doing these videos and you're revisiting a product because it's like are you gonna freestyle the same exact like things you said the first time like my first impressions did I say it was a 5 or a 4.5 or did I say it was a 3 or did I say it was a 6 you know <laughs> I've always thought about that but I don't care enough to go back and look but regardless today's shave it's about medium sin strength and that is good enough for me alright and that is good enough to get going so gonna be using the Razor Rock Hawk V3 we got the uh, super knurl handle and I think this is a very attractive handle it's handsome these um little rings that it has aren't very deep they're actually quite shallow so making cleanup a breeze the knurling is quite grippy and there's no real like um slippery spots you know what I mean like even if you held it right on one of those rings you got knurling on the top and bottom it's it's a very well designed handle and I, I just love it um and then the v3 head there very nice too nice and uh nice and slim and it gets the job done very nice i have um a blade in there that i don't have marked and i have used before so no idea what the hell it is or how many shaves it has on it but if it's not comfortable we'll switch it out And there we go. We're off to the races. Very smooth. The Razor Rock Hawk. This is a Artist Club style razor, if you're unaware. Single edge. Uses Artist Club style blades. Most likely this is a Feather Professional and or a Schick. Proline P30 because those are my favorite ones. So it's one of the two. One thing you you'll enjoy about uh, these Artist Club style razors is the amount of ground they cover. They have a slightly uh, wider head than DE razors or Schick injectors, and therefore they cover more ground. Something, uh, you know, to be aware of, but it's not really an issue. Very, very smooth, though. I do quite enjoy this uh, Razor Rock Hawk. Good stuff. And I am enjoying the scent on this one, too. It's just kind of like a, a pleasant green scent. It's not particularly like herbaceous or wild. If anything, it almost, you know, I've said this, I, I'm pretty positive I've said this before, but it's almost like they took a, uh, like a, a soap scent, like a soapy, clean scent. Added a few green notes to that. Because it doesn't come off particularly wild. I don't. I don't necessarily feel like I'm standing in the middle of the woods and and I don't I'm not getting that wild wilderness feel from it. It's just more so like a pleasant green soapy scent. And I have no idea what the scent notes are, but that is more or less my takeaway from the scent. I do very much um, anticipate whatever the hell Austin's going to come up with next. I like supporting um, small businesses, especially when it comes to my hobbies. Like wet shaving and craft beer. I like being, you know, a part of the uh, ground level um support system you know what I mean I like to say like I oh, man I was there from the beginning
I actually forgot to mention, but it's from Oak Harbor, Washington State. My state. This is where I, I live in Washington State. And that's a, another reason that when I discovered this brand, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, we got, you know, like Washington natives back on the board, you know. Because previously, we had um, West of Olympia, out of Olympia, Washington, and damn, they were fucking good, man. West of Olympia, I kick myself in the ass every time I think about it, because they were quite literally ahead of their time, but they just didn't have time to make soaps. You know, they would drop something months apart. But they would take their drops very seriously. Like, packaging was fucking crazy. It would come, like, in in gift boxes with a ribbon and a wax seal. Um, just outstanding packaging. I really kick myself for not buying more of their stuff when I had the chance. But I was new to, new to wet shaving. Sorry, I just had dinner. And I had to fucking burp. Um, I was new to wet shaving and I was still kind of like, you know, stretching my arms trying to find all these um, new brands that I hear about but hadn't tried. And so even though I had a real good experience with West of Olympia, I wasn't super deep in the game, so... I was kind of like, well, this worked for me, but it could have been the worst soap in the whole hobby. There's no way for me to know. I gotta keep trying more things. And so that's what I did. But when they shut down, kind of kicked myself in the ass because I was like, man, they were really good. And they were better than most of the shit that I had at the time. And just kind of, by the time I came back to them, they were gone. So, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. You guys ever see West of Olympia out in the secondary market? You give me a, you give me a heads up. And this soap is just absolutely phenomenal like it, it's this might be the best lather that I've made with it thus far I can't quite remember the previous two lathers but I don't remember enjoying it this much <laughs> I'll tell you that I think I made a really nice lather today very dense very creamy and I think previously at least one of the lathers I made wasn't this dense it might have been when I used the badger, but I could be wrong. But yeah, this 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 lather today is nice. Very very good stuff. I did load quite heavy, so there was plenty, plenty, plenty of product to work with. But sometimes. That's what you gotta do, and there's no reason to be stingy with your soap, especially when you have a lifetime supply. All right, that is pretty much that. Rinsed out nicely. Let's go ahead and get this lather off the face and We'll get into some post shave. Now previously, I did not have a matching post shave because they do not offer a matching post shave. Um, and so I kinda mixed and matched with other things in my den in order to uh, fill out my shave. But I just so happen to have one of, if not the only, <laughs> 
aftershave in existence for this. Um, me and Austin got to talking a bit, you know, as I discovered the company and I was inquiring about the product and, you know, we just kind of got to know each other and a little bit better. And after I ordered it and I had a good experience with it, uh, Austin actually offered to, um, you know, put something together for me. So it's not, I don't think he has plans in offering a matching aftershave um, at the moment. But uh, I'm just, you know, very grateful, very fortunate to have been gifted a matching aftershave. And um, we'll just see how it goes. He basically told me if, um, you know, if it's too oily for you, cut it with a little bit of witch hazel or add some witch hazel to the bottle and you'll be good. Got the Lancaster here. So soft, so luxurious. Gotta look. And I kinda didn't want that shaved end. That lather, that lather was feeling nice. You know when you like, you absolutely like nail a lather to your preferences? And you kinda just wanna like play with it a little bit? <laughs> that's uh, that's how it was today. I think I, I fucking nailed it when it came to the, the lather for my preferences anyways. There's still plenty of lather to go, but I do gotta clean up the uh, hairline on top. I always get that widow's peak taken care of off camera, so extra lather always is a good thing. All right, that's good enough for now. <clears throat> Let's take another swig. So here it is. It's kind of funny. We got the uh, blue tinted bottle. <laughs> well, you could see he just put one of his uh, soap labels on the aftershave. Because <laughs> on top it says shaving soap. So that tells you this is not an available product. I'm going to give it a good shake. Just in case the oil separated and I have no idea if they did. But it's always a good idea to uh, shake your aftershaves. Now this has a spray top. It is what it is. I'm just going to spray it into my hand. So, if it comes out, maybe we need to, uh, maybe the, uh, good old shaking of the bottle was not good. <laughs> Shit, son. Oh, wait, does it even have a hose? No, it doesn't have a hose. Or if it did, it fell off. I don't know. So, this is very rapidly turning into a shit show. All right, so we have a shit stricter. <laughs> I mean, he's not offering it, so all of this nonsense is what it is. I'm gonna put my thumb like seven eighths across the top and then just let a few drops come out. And we got kind of a, uh, a very, very orange um, colored aftershave. Very interesting. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen an aftershave in that hue, at least not naturally. But this is banging, dude. <laughs> okay. So, one of the things that I talked about with Austin <coughs> was that I wish the soap had more scent strength because I like the scent, I think it's pleasant. But I wish it had more sense strength. <laughs> and so uh, he told me, he was like, that aftershave is going to be bold and banging. And he wasn't lying. And actually, it's kind of going on, even though it's liquidy, I still feel like it's, um, it is quite oily as well. But it's almost like a cross between, like, a skin serum and an aftershave splash. It's like somewhere in the middle as far as consistency because it's a quite thick aftershave splash. 
but it's a little bit runny to be like a skin food oil, like a good oleo or Tonka Bean Shave Co's um, serum, or a &E has a fucking serum as well. So it's kind of like somewhere in the middle in consistency, and I actually don't mind that. I, I think it would be good if I cut it with Witch Hazel and made it more liquidy like an aftershave splash, but I actually didn't mind that, like, serum feel. So, excuse me. That was nice, and it is much more fragrant. <laughs> I absolutely love how it smells in the aftershave. It's actually much more bold, which brings more things out. It's much more um, robust, and I like that. It went from being like mellow to more robust, and I think it's a better scent that way. But it could have just been um, the soap base as well, who knows. Anyhow, that was a very nice shave. <laughs> I think two thumbs up. All right, two thumbs and a beer up. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one. Definitely appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on the next one, maybe for a Friday shave. Thanks, Austin.